Lots of kids are off to camp or about to be. And one thing kids always look forward to are packages from home or fun things to leave to camp to go with. Here to talk about some really fun, just amazing ideas to give the campers in your life is Danielle Perlman from Rap Rhode Island, who's a gifting expert. You brought a bunch of stuff today. I did. Um, my daughter goes to camp in two weeks, so I've been getting prepared for that. And I've been sending for the past two weeks, probably every day, my clients, um, kids at various New England camps, uh, lots of packages. So I feel like I have a pretty good, Ooh, good idea of what has been a big hit this summer. So where do we want to start? Let's start over here with the, yeah. with the basketball hoop? Let's okay. do the basketball This hoop. is so cool. What is this for? So you put it, you can put it, it comes with two hooks. So you can hook it onto the end of the bunk bed. Okay. So it works for the top bunk, bottom bunk. Um, the kids can play with it, shoot hoops. I love this idea. It's really fun. You can also put it in on the patio of the bunk, like at the porch area. Okay. If they don't want to put it on their bed, but that's been a big hit. You can send it with them to camp yeah, or send it um, up in a package. It folds down. It also comes with four balls. Okay, so you is, can really get more, multiple people yeah, playing. Yeah, so you can really do a really fun game. It comes with a pump and it comes. It actually comes with two hoops in the set. I love this. So this is such a great one, idea. Yes, it's great a great idea. One. All right, this is a great, always a standard go-to item. 100%. Any camp will tell you that the most misplaced thing at camp is water bottles and it's the most used item too. So putting your name on it and this is an insulated Gatorade so okay. it keeps it cold um, you know I do the names on all of them at so Rutgers Island so smart and people love it because then it, their kids will inevitably lose it and now it's really easy to find the owner such a great idea and now we were talking before we started the segment about how slime is such a big popular thing right now so you had a great idea send it send it to camp send it to camp I mean <laughs> I thought that we would be over slime by now we are still in the throes of it I mean my kids love it and I don't love having it at my house so just send it up to camp and you don't have to worry about the no slime rule such a good idea I love it and then you have all these fidgets I know that these are still continue to be a big trend for kids yes and there's a lot of um, there's a lot of fun uh, there's these magnetic ones those that you are stick so on your cool. finger I've never seen those before yeah, you can play with them in your bunk you can take them with you they're really small which is nice and the kids love these and then there's this one this is like a brain right so this is supposed to help you concentrate and there's different games with this one where you can form different colors and make different combinations or you can just you know relax while you're doing I it. I love that and then what is one is this is just like a little game let's boggle remember oh, boggle, boggle. Yes, little, from so behind. A, this is so cool it's a mini, mini version one. yeah it doesn't take up a lot of space it's easy to send up you can also keep their brain sharp this summer I uh, love this yeah. so tiny and cute I, yeah. right into a little game yeah we love that game at, in my family so I just thought it'd be cute like a mini version of it they could play at rest hour or if it rains oh this is perfect and then I told you you know my boys are obsessed with football yep so this so you said to like squeeze Pop it and it lights up. It, it lights light up. up. There so you go. This How is, cool is that? That has been a fan favorite this summer. I get emails from parents that I send it to their campers that the boys are playing this game where they're on the bunk beds and they go from top bunk to bottom bunk yeah. and time each other to see how long they can get through. They play with it at the pool at I night. I love that. It's really fun. I love it. I love how it lights up. Okay, and with Mad Libs, I used to love these. Mad Libs. It's always it's an, another rainy day, a good one to do in the bunk during rest hour. Um, they're always fun. My girls love them. And and it's another easy one to send in a padded envelope. That's true, absolutely. And then I know that Victoria loves making bracelets. I know Ariel does too. Our daughters are friends. It is such a fun thing to see them make these. This is a great idea. This is a great set. My The girls go through them so fast. They probably put one on their water bottle every day. They also <laughs> share them. So I am sending her up with one, but I'm also going to send another one midway because I know that last year she went through two. So And I love the personalization in the front. Yeah, such a great it's idea. It's just nice to add a a little something on um, and that way they don't get lost or they don't you know confuse them with right. other people in their bunks because they do share a lot it makes it so special and then you were telling me about the little mermaid card in front these are also stickers yes so the sticker I have all different ones but this one is a mermaid's tail and it says you're mermazing so I'll write her the letter in that or the client's child the letter in it and then they take these off and I know my daughter puts them on her caboodle or her you know plastic drawers that they take to yes. camp and they collect them so and and they're by ice cream and they have like all you could buy them separately I love those too, but this one's nice because it comes with the cards so. I love those and then the camp talk in front this is such a great idea I had never seen one of these before I mean Victoria only did a little field hockey camp this 
you know, but as a day camp, but these are great to take away for overnight camp. Yeah, Talking so I'm these. probably going to send her with these so to camp um, versus sending them, you know, midsummer. But these have questions to get to know the different campers in your bunk so and cute. the counselors, and it's really like a nice icebreaker. I love that. What a great idea. You have a little camper right who might be like nervous or a little homesick. Yeah. You know, they bring the kids together, get to know each other. Not I everyone. Love that it's, idea. it's not everyone's first summer. Some kids are, you know, have been there for a yeah. year or two. Some kids are new, so it's a nice getting to know you. I love that. And then we, the last little item over there, last we were little playing ball. with before, before we came on air. It's this is so, so cool. so much fun. It's one of those sensory balls. It can't pop, and it's that ASMR yes. noise the kids are into in those they videos. They love it. And it's really, uh, the one. The reason I like this one so much is, um, you know, at nighttime, the kids kind of, it's kind of the time when, when they miss home a little yeah. bit. It's just a nice one to help keep them calm and, you know, while they're getting ready for bed and just... <laughs> have something to fidget with and it's relaxing. So. I love it. it. Amazing ideas, Danielle. These are so great. I loved your point too. You could send these or send your kids off with these toys right. or games or fun things. So awesome ideas. Thank you Thank so you. much. And we're going to have links to everything on this table as well over on our website, roadshow.com.